What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this mask transition from Sam Colder's new video. If you haven't seen the video then I'll leave the link down below. Definitely go check it out, it's another amazing edit from Sam. So this is called a mask transition. So to show you this transition, I'm going to be replacing this clip with another shot from the video. So to start this transition, what we're going to do is go to a halfway point of the hand wiping off and we're just going to go and search for the draw mask effect. So I'm going to go over here to the effects tab. I'm going to search for draw mask and we're just going to drag that onto our video clip and then start drawing around the hand by like clicking and adding these points. And if you click and hold, then you can smooth these uh, points out with these sliders. The more detailed you are, the better it's going to look, but I'm just going to do it quite quickly today. So we're going to do something like this. And once you've got your first outline done, what you want to do is go up here to the effects tab, go to transform and just open that up and then click all of these keyframe buttons. So position, rotation, scale and control points. And then from here, what we're going to do is go back and forward frame by frame and move this mask to keep masking out the hand. So I'm going to go forward first because it's normally pretty easy. So all I did there was just skip one frame forward using the right arrow key. And now I'm just going to move my mask around the hand here. Okay, so the mask is done. I masked out about 15 frames right there. So now I'm gonna drag my clip that I wanna to transition to underneath the clip I just masked out. So let's play that back and... Okay, so now the hand wipes off and reveals this new shot right here. So that's looking pretty good. And now we're gonna do the sort of like fade on effect before the mask wipe happens. So for that, what I'm gonna do is copy and paste this shot right here the one we masked out and i'm actually going to delete the draw mask on this one and then i'm going to go to opacity and hit a keyframe and then move along a few frames and just turn this down to zero so now the clip behind sort of fades on first and then the mask transition happens you kind of can't really tell because the first shot is blue where i've masked out but yeah that's pretty much how you can do that and I want to feather out this mask a little bit, so I'm just going to do that by turning the feather down and then the fall off down as well, just to smooth it out a little bit more. And then what you can also do is add a bit of directional blur. So let's just do that quickly. If we go over here to the effects tab and go to directional, we can add that onto the main mask shot and just add the blur in the, in the direction where the hand is going and just add a mask onto the edge right here. Feather it out a little bit. Add a couple of keyframes. Kind of turn it down at the beginning. And then as the transition happens, you can move this mask with the hand just to give it a bit more of a kind of motion blur effect on the edge of the mask right there. And that's pretty much done. Let's have a look at the finished product right here. Reminder to myself that life can end at any- Cool, and there you go guys. That is the mask transition. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I'll leave a link down to Sam's video. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Um, such a cool edit. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.